Jesus honor to Mary and Joseph hallelujah hallelujah you are welcome you are welcome you are welcome in the name of the Lord may the name of the Lord be praised and may the name of the Lord be glorified amen father Alfred is online right now and let somebody be told let somebody be aware you are welcome to the seventh day of our waiting upon the Lord seventh day of prayer seventh day of fasting seventh day of trusting God for his goodness for his mercies in our year of God's compassion and compassion and uh, restoration amen <clears throat> God is restoring lost glory lost blessings God is restoring Yes, eaten by locust, canker worm and the palmer worms, the caterpillar. God is restoring whatever it is that needs to be restored even upon our lives. Hallelujah. I want to welcome you as you join me to pray today. On this seventh day, we are looking at the topic, Holy Spirit, the principal channel to power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It may interest us to know that whenever the Holy Spirit is mentioned in the Word of God, power is always you know, mentioned alongside the person of the Holy Spirit. Power is always mentioned alongside the person of the Holy Spirit. And so we are going to be praying along with the Holy Ghost today. And I know that the favor of God will not depart from us. The favor of God will not depart from our house. So you are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, precious Father, we thank you everlasting rock of ages we glorify you we thank you for this seventh day of waiting upon you your word says those that wait upon you renew their strength they shall mat up with wings as eagles they shall run and never be weary they shall walk and not faint father we wait upon you this day this seventh day Give us the grace never to faint. Give us the grace never to be weary. Receive all the glory. Our petitions, our heart desires, which we may known to you in the course of this prayer. Father, by them may we testify of your goodness and mercy. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, ancient of days. Thank you for counting us among the living. Thank you for not let, uh, letting our enemies see our downfall. Oh, thank you. May your name be praised. May your name be glorified. Amen. We ask the Blessed Mother Mary to stand in the gap, eat us it for us. And that, that she too be the first woman to experience the Holy Ghost in the New Testament. And by her intercession, to pave way for us to experience that encounter for our turnaround in the person of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Abba Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. May the name of the Lord be praised and be glorified. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greater is he that lives in you than he that is in the world. Connect yourself. Connect your family. Connect your loved ones. 
to this arena of prayer right now. Let's go. Use, the, use just one minute to do that. Connect yourself. Connect your family. Connect your loved ones. Connect all that you are going to be praying about today to this atmosphere of favor, to this atmosphere of prayer, to this atmosphere of grace. Yes, connect yourself, connect yourself. That you know great grace and favor, great grace and mercy. Hallelujah. Seven is a perfect number. God is perfecting all that concerns you today. God is perfecting all that concerns your family today. God is perfecting all that concerns your marriage. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know, so just connect yourself, connect your family, connect your loved ones. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit of the living God. Thank you for your abundant power. Holy Spirit, thank you for your abundant power. Spirit of the living God, thank you for your abundant power. Connect yourself and family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Declare that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. On this seventh day of our prayer, this arena of prayer, arena of prophetic grace, declare that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Open your mouth and declare it. That no weapon, no weapon, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Wickedness will never reign over you. Open your mouth and declare that. As you connect your family, declare that no weapon, that every tongue rising in judgment, we condemn that tongue right now. Open your mouth and declare. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Abba Father. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Spirit of God. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, the principal channel to power. Hallelujah. Declare that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue rising in judgment shall be condemned. The, the tongue of the enemy is the weapon that they have. And the tongue that you have is also your weapon of defense. So you must learn how to use your tongue. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Declare that over your family. Declare that over your children. No weapon, no weapon. No, by day or by night. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. A wickedness will not prevail against you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. It is an atmosphere. The atmosphere is getting charged. The power of God is hitting somebody here today. The power of God is hitting somebody here today. No weapon. When you say no weapon, it means no weapon. No weapon. Thank you, Jesus. It's a new year. You must take this by force. Every tongue rising against you, we condemn that tongue in the name of Jesus. That tongue shall be divided in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Mm. Holy Spirit of God, we worship you. Holy Spirit of God, we praise you. We just had, we have just one verse 
which I believe we have read, and it is um, from First John chapter four, verse four. And in First John chapter four, verse four, the word of God says, "You are of God, you are of God, little children, and you have overcome them." Listen, you have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. This one is what John wrote by revelation that he who is in you he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world nothing can ever paralyze you thank you Jesus now I want to show you a passage from scripture I want to show you a passage from scriptures uh, but I'm taking it from uh, uh, King James Version and this passage is very strong and that is the first thing we are praying with today. I will be, I will be showing you uh, the, for the passage explain why you need power. Listen, the passage even explain why in your Christian work you need power. Until power is demonstrated, certain certain quarters will not will not give up. You need power. Oh goodness. You need power, and the Holy Ghost is the principal channel to that power. Look at it. Uh, Psalm 66, verse 3. I am taking it from uh, the good, the uh, King James Version, though. But let me see what we have in the uh, we have in the uh, our Bible here. Psalm 66 verse 3 is one of my very strong psalm that whenever I um, study that passage, I have hope and I pray more for power. This is one passage that I help me to really be strong. I pray more for the power of the Holy Ghost. So, but let me read it for you first of all from our Bible. Our Bible is a revised standard version. This is our Bible. Then I will read from King James. Then I will explain. I will pray with that today. Verse Psalm 66 verse 3 says, Say to God, hmm, Hallelujah. Say to God, how terrible are your deeds. So great is thy power. So great is thy power. That the enemy cling before thee. That the enemy cling before thee. But so, but see, let us see how the new King James render it. I like the new King James rendering. I mean the King James version. It says, Say unto God, I'm reading from King James now. Say unto God, how terrible. Are thou in thy works? How terrible are thou in thy works? Through the greatness of your power, hallelujah, hallelujah, through the greatness of your power, shall thine enemies submit themselves unto you, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Through the greatness of your power, you see, your enemies shall submit themselves unto you. Until there is power demonstration, your enemy will not submit, they will still be fighting. They will still be holding ground. But when your enemy see power, when power is demonstrated, it was when Pharaoh saw that there was power in the land, all firstborn wiped out. God was showing his power. God was showing his power. All firstborn wiped out. Even that of animal. Animals lost their firstborn. Pharaoh said, please go. Don't stay here again. But you know what? Even at that, he was still holding ground. When Israel had left, Pharaoh said, what have I done? Have I allowed them to go? Let us pursue them. They pursued them. Pursued them onto the Red Sea. He, another power was demonstrated. Another power was demonstrated. Red Sea parted. 
Pharaoh was the, look, your enemy will hold ground. Your enemy will hold ground. But until there is power, they will not submit. Until there is power outburst, power outrage, your enemy will not submit. But this passage says, through the greatness of thy power, hey, yeah, your, thy enemies submit themselves unto thee. Hallelujah. I love this passage. I love this passage. Hey, yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Through the greatness of your power, Shall your enemies submit themselves? When, you, when, when the Holy Ghost power is being demonstrated, enemies will submit. Red Sea parted. When Pharaoh dare, the, the sea consumed them. Till today, till today, that record is one power that God demonstrated, that God showed forth. And that is the first prayer point I want us to take to pray. Oh God, demonstrate your power and let my enemies submit. I would ready to pray that prayer point. Say, my father, my father. Oh, declare, my father, my father. As I pray, oh Lord, through the greatness of your power, let all my enemies submit. Oh, put your mouth and declare that. My father and my God. My father, my father, my father, my father. Ah, yeah, yeah. To the greatness of your power. To the greatness of your power. Make my enemies to submit. Shall my enemies submit themselves? Let my enemies submit themselves. Enemies of my salvation, they shall submit themselves. They shall submit themselves. Enemies of my salvation, open your mouth and declare that through the greatness of your power, through the greatness of your power, through the greatness of your power in my life, my Father and my God, through the greatness of your power in my life, through the greatness of your power in my life shall your enemies submit myself shall your enemies submit themselves shall your enemies your enemies all my enemies shall submit themselves all my enemies shall submit themselves to the greatness of your power open your mouth and declare that as prayer your enemy will not submit until they see power through the greatness of your power, O oh God. Through the greatness of your power, O oh God. Through the greatness of your power, O oh God. Let your en let my enemies submit. Let all my enemies submit. Through the greatness of your power. Oh, through the greatness of your power. Oh, put your mouth and declare that your life needs the demonstration of power. Your family needs the demonstration of power. Your enemy will not submit until they see power. Your enemy will not give up until they see power. Your enemy will not yield until they see power. Come on. And the Holy Ghost is the principal channel to that power. Hallelujah. 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 My Father, my Father, my Father and my God, as I pray through the greatness of your power, let all my enemies submit. Oh, let all my enemies submit. Let all my enemies submit through the greatness of your power. Through the greatness of your power. Father, demonstrate your power in my life. I humble all my enemies. Father, demonstrate all your power. Father, demonstrate your power. Father, demonstrate your power. Open your your mouth and declare that, oh, let your power be demonstrated, a power soldier, a power soldier, a power soldier, and let my enemy crumble, let my enemies crumble, let my enemies crumble, let my enemies crumble, let there be the demonstration of your power, let there be the demonstration of your power, Father, let there be the demonstration of your power, and let all my enemies Submit themselves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Through the greatness of your power, O oh Lord, shall my enemies submit themselves. Makabu Satabaye. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hey, let there be a power surge. A power surge. Holy Ghost power surge. Father, let there be Holy Ghost power soldier. Holy Ghost power soldier. Holy Ghost power soldier. And let my enemies submit themselves. Let them crumble to your name, oh God. Let them crumble in the name of Jesus. A power soldier. Until power fell from heaven. The prophet of Baal never gave him. When they saw power, the prophet of Baal said, Hey! The God of Elijah is the true God. Let us go there. Let us. 
First King chapter chapter 18. <laughs> when they saw power, they said, Hey, the God of Elijah is the true God. The God of Elijah oh, is the true God. Oh. The God of, of Elijah is the true God. When they saw power, oh, go and sit down. Mm. Look at it. I want First Kings chapter eighteen. First Kings chapter eighteen, beginning from verse thirty-eight. First King. Okay, let me read from verse thirty-six. First Kings chapter eighteen. And at the time, and, and at the time of the offering of the oblation, Elijah the prophet came near and said, "O Lord." God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, let it be known that this day that thou art God, that art God in Israel, and that I and that I am thy servant, and that I have done all these things at thy word. Verse 37. Answer me, O Lord, answer me, that these people may know that thou, O Lord, art God, and that thou hast turned their hearts back. Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt offering and the wood come on that is power consume the burnt offering consume the wood hmm. and the stones and the hair yeah, and the stones and the dust and lick up all the water that was in the trench and when all the people saw it they fell on their faces and they said the lord he is god look at the prophet of Baal shouting the prophet of Baal, look at them now the Lord, he is God. The Lord, he is God. And Elijah said to them, Since the prophet of Baal, let no one of them escape. Hallelujah. Since then, they opened their mouth and confessed. Hey, when they saw power, when, they, when power fell, they were the one that confessed. It was a power surge. It was a power surge. The power of the Holy Ghost was being demonstrated. When they saw power, they fell on their faces. They were the one that confessed. I prophesy on you. On this seventh day, all your enemies that dares, whether in the physical or in the spiritual, they shall see the power of your God and confess that your God is the true God. Your enemy that dares you, that dares you in the physical, that dares you in the spiritual, that dares your family, that dares your marriage, that dares your salvation, the enemies of your salvation, they shall see the power of God. They shall see the power of God and with their own mouth, they shall declare that Yeshua HaMashiach is the true God. They shall declare that mighty El Gibor is the true God. They shall declare that Jehovah Jireh is the true God. They shall declare that Jehovah Shaphat is the true God. They shall declare that Jehovah El Shaddai is the true God. They shall declare that Jehovah Shekinah is the true God. They shall declare they shall declare, they shall declare, your enemy shall see power. Your enemy shall see power. The power sword of God. The power sword of the Holy Ghost and with their mouth they shall declare that you serve a living God. They shall declare that you serve a mighty God. They shall declare that in that the name of your God is mighty El Gibor. They shall declare that the name of your God is Jehovah Tibera, the God of fire, the God of fire, Jehovah Tibera, Jehovah Tibera, Jehovah Tibera, Jehovah Tibera, the God of fire. The they shall be use their mouth to declare when they see the power sword, the power sword of the Holy Ghost. Somebody shout a loud amen. 400 prophets of Baal and 450 prophets of the goddess Asherah. 850 prophets against Elijah. When fire fell, when power came, when there was a power surge, the prophet confessed. Today, from this night, your enemy shall confess. 
Your enemy kababo li gabade kali baronde. Your enemy shall confess. Your enemy shall confess. Your enemy shall confess. I say your enemy shall confess. Your enemy shall confess. They shall confess. They shall confess. They shall confess. Your enemy shall confess. Your enemy shall confess by the power of the Holy Ghost. Your enemy shall confess by the power of the Holy Ghost. Your enemy shall confess by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. They shall confess. Hmm. When they saw power, you, 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 your enemies are still holding ground because you yourself don't even know what to do that to make your enemies give up. It is power. The Bible says, through the greatness of thy power, O God, shall thy enemies submit themselves to you. It is the enemy that will submit themselves. Where they see power, where they see power, enemies will submit. Hey, ya! Uh, look at the prophet of Baal submitting. They drop and fell on their faces and said, "Oh, the Lord God of Elijah is the true God. How come all this? Why they didn't say that? Because there was no power yet. Because they too, they were there." And we are calling upon God, the God of the of Ba. They were calling on Ba, Ba, Ba. Hear us, Ba, 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 Ba. And you see, Ba is not God. They have eyes; they cannot see, so they cannot hear you. All those native doctor thing. They are just pretending to be strong. When native doctor see power, he will repent. Oh, come on. Thank you, Jesus. Look at this. First Kings chapter... First Kings chapter 18. The beginning from verse 26. And they took the bull which was given to them and they prepared it and called on the name of Ba from morning until noon. Through they called the name of Ba from morning until noon, saying... Oh, Ba, answer us. But there was no voice. Look at the Bible. There was no voice. You are calling a native doctor. They are asking you to come and do this. This no cannot help you. You need power from the Holy Ghost. Come on. Look at it here. They, call it from, they were calling the name of Ba from morning until, until noon, saying, Oh, Ba, answer us. But there was no voice. And there was... And no one answered. And they leaped about the altar which they had made. And at noon, Elijah mocked them, saying, Cry aloud, for he is, he is a God. Either he is musing or he has gone aside or he is on a journey. Or perhaps he is asleep and must be awakened. And they cried aloud and cut themselves after their custom with sword and lances until the blood gushed out upon them. And at midday passed, they raved until the time of the evening oblation. And there was no voice, no one answered them, no one heeded. And when it comes to their, when it comes to bar idols, they cannot help you. It's only Jehovah. You can look at it here, no voice. No one heard. You are telling me that our ancestors says our ancestors they are Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. These are our ancestors. Not pouring of libation on the ground. You are telling me you are talking about one ancestors. They cannot help you. All this one you are seeing, juju everywhere. They are they are all demonic demons and their powers have been taken. The key of life have been taken from them. When Jesus came back from the dead. He took the key from the hand of Lucifer. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, can we take that prayer point again? Because there shall be power in your life in 2021. Your enemies need to submit. Look at Saint Jemaica. Look at Ak Jemaica at the background. It was power demonstration and Lucifer was brought down. It was power. Can we take that prayer point again? My Father and my God. My father, my father. Yes, through the demonstration of your power, let my enemy be put to shame. 
let my enemy be disgraced. Not just to submit now. Let them be disgraced. Look at the prophet of Baal. They were disgraced. 850, 400 prophets of Baal and 450 prophets of the goddess Asherah. They were disgraced when power was, when there was a power surge. Oh, my father, my father, as I pray, my father, my father, as I pray to the demonstration of your power, let all my enemies be disgraced. Let all my enemies be humbled. Let all my enemies be silenced. Are we ready to pray? Hey, yeah. Uh, this one for the friend, we clap his hand very well. My father, my father. My father, my father. As I pray to the demonstration of your power in this year 2021, let all my enemies submit. Let all my enemies be disgraced. Let all my enemies be humbled. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Kabo Yes. My father, my father, my father, my father, as I pray, as I pray, as I pray to the demonstration of your power, to the demonstration of your power, to the demonstration of your power, let all my enemies be disgraced. Let all my enemies be disgraced. Father, demonstrate your power in my life in this year 2021. Father, demonstrate your power. Father, demonstrate your power. Father, demonstrate your power. Father, demonstrate your power in my life. Demonstrate your power in my marriage. Demonstrate Demonstrate your power in the ministry. Demonstrate your power. Father, demonstrate your power. Father, demonstrate your power. Father, demonstrate your power. Demonstrate your power. Oh God, demonstrate your power in this year 2021. Demonstrate your power. Demonstrate your power. Demonstrate your power to humble my enemies, to silence my enemies. Let my enemy be put to shame. Let them be disgraced. Let my enemies submit themselves by through the greatness of your power in my life in 2021, let all my enemies, let them submit themselves. Let them submit themselves. Let them see power and submit themselves. Let them see power and submit themselves. Let them see power. 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 Let them see power and submit themselves. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Open your mouth and declare that prayer. Hmm. Let them see power. Let them see power. And, and, and submit themselves. A power surge. Open your mouth and declare that. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Oh, it's the passage I love. Psalm 66, verse 3. To the demonstration of your power, to the greatness of your power, shall your enemies submit themselves. Father, let my enemies submit themselves. Let them see power. And hear me. The principal channel to this power you are talking about now, it is the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. 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 The first time the Holy Ghost was mentioned in the New Testament, it was mentioned with power. It was mentioned with power. The first time that the Holy Ghost, the first time that the Holy Ghost was mentioned, it was mentioned with power. It was mentioned with power. And when Jesus promised the Holy Ghost to the apostles, encouraging them to tarry in Jerusalem, it was also promised with power. Whenever you mention Holy Ghost, power is always by the side because Holy Ghost is the principal channel to power. And Mary said, and Mary said to the angel, how can this be? I don't know any man. I am a virgin. And the angel Gabriel, Markabo Sakatade, angel Gabriel said to Mary, hey, Mary, the Holy Ghost, we overshadow you. The Holy Ghost, we overshadow you. Hey, and the power from on high shall come upon you. Hallelujah. 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 The Holy Ghost, we overshadow you and the power from on high. The first time that the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit was mentioned, the first time it was mentioned in the New Testament, hear me, the Holy Spirit, the, the, the power from on high was mentioned alongside with, 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 with the person of the Holy Ghost. Let us see Acts, Acts chapter 1. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. You are also going to see um, Acts chapter 1 verse 8. You are also going to see the presentation of, 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 the, of the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The principal channel to the, uh, the power you are talking about is the 
is the Holy Ghost. Acts chapter 1, look at it, Acts chapter 1 verse 8. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. The Bible says, but you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Look at it. You shall receive power. The Holy Ghost cannot demonstrate without power. Power is, they are like two sides of the same coin of the Holy Ghost. Look at it. But you shall, he said, it is not for you to know time or season which the Father has fixed by his own authority. Verse 8. But you shall receive power when the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Hey, yeah. You shall receive power. You shall receive power. You shall receive power when the Holy Ghost has come upon you. You see, the Holy Ghost is the principal channel to this power. Holy Ghost is the principal channel to this power. Anytime the Bible mentions Holy Ghost, there's always uh, there's always power. Let us go to Acts, Acts chapter 10. Acts chapter 10, verse 38. You are also going to see another mention of power. Acts chapter 10, verse 38. In Acts chapter 10, verse 38, 38, 38. Okay, now I am there right now. Look at it. Acts 10, verse 38, verse 38. How, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth. How? Look at it. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. Holy Ghost and with power. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. Whenever the Holy Ghost is mentioned, there is power. Why? Because the Holy Ghost is the principal channel to power. The Holy Ghost is the principal channel to power. The church was not born until the church was born with power. Do you know that the Catholic Church is a powerful church? It's a church of power. Because the day the Catholic Church was born, there was the power surge of the Holy Ghost. That was the day of Pentecost. There was a power outbreak. There was a power surge. The day the Holy Ghost came, that, was, that became the birthday of the Holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. That is the birthday of the church. That is, that, that, that is the birthday of the church. Hear me very well. You need power. Let me tell you, you need power. You need power. If you don't show forth power, the power of God, your enemy will not submit. Your enemy will not give up. Your enemies will not submit themselves. You need power. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. To the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. Hallelujah. 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 Mm. And you know, we are, now that Jesus came, Jesus died, and Jesus, you know, ascended, after the work of salvation being completed, the Holy Ghost now resides in us. Hi, yeah, yeah. He, do you know who you are? The Holy Ghost. If I ask you now, where is the Holy Spirit? He's in you. He's in you. That was why the passage we read today says, greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world. The Holy Ghost lives in you. The Holy Ghost resides in you. You are a man of, listen to me, you are a man of power. Let me show you something. You are a man of power. You are a woman of power. The Holy Spirit of God resides in you. The dwelling place of God. You are the, the Holy, you are the dwelling place of the Holy Ghost. Your body is the temple. The Bible says your, your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. When you say temple, it means the Holy Ghost sanctuary. The Holy Ghost dwelling. He dwells, he lives in you. That's what the Bible says. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Greater, 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 greater is he that is in, the, that is in you. Greater is he that is in you. The Holy Ghost lives in you. You are a woman of power. You are a man of power. If you know who lives in you, nothing can threaten you. If you know who lives in you, the Holy Ghost dwells in you. That is why when you make bold decree and declaration, it comes from your heart. It's, it's, it's from your spirit. Your, 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 your spirit man is attuned with the, with the person of the Holy Spirit and you begin to receive revelation. Come on. Your spirit man, when you, when you, when you pray, for example, when you pray in other tongues, for example, your spirit man is charged up and is, is getting you know, tuned up with the presence of the Holy Ghost within you. You get revelation. You get heavenly signals. You get heavenly signals. You get revelation. 
Come on. The Holy Ghost lives in you, dwells in you, resides in you, abode in you, and is domiciled in you. So you must not forget that. You must not forget that. You must not. Makabosha. I am so excited this, this early morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me show you what Jesus said. When they the, when Jesus made mention of the Holy Ghost to the apostles, let me show you where Jesus, where the Holy Ghost will, will stay. Even Jesus said it with his mouth. Look at it. He said, uh, John chapter 14, verse 15. He says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will pray the Father. And he will give you another counselor, another advocate. To be with you. To be with you forever. Look at it. To be with you forever. Even the spirit of truth. Holy Ghost. Even the spirit of truth. Whom the world cannot receive. Because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him. And he dwells with you. And will be in you. Look at Jesus talking here. The Holy Ghost dwells with you and will be in you. So when John, through revelation, when he was not writing, he wrote in First uh, John chapter 4, verse 4 now, and he said, greater is he that is in you. He said, you are of God, little children. Don't be afraid. You have overcome them. Greater is he. John was writing, greater is he that is in you. Take advantage of the one who is greater in you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Greater is he that is in you. Hallelujah. Look at it here. Jesus said the Holy Ghost will dwell in you. We domicile in you. We abode in you. We, 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 we walk with you. So, you have seen it now. You have the Holy Ghost. You are a man of power. You are a woman of power. Let this consciousness be born in you. Let this consciousness go with you. Let this consciousness envelop you. Let this consciousness be strong in you. Let this consciousness, let this consciousness be direct everything you do that you have the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost dwells in you. That's why anything I do, it doesn't fail. I can it fail when I have the Holy Ghost, the teacher. Except I don't want to be involved. But if I'm involved, it will work. The teacher, the teacher, he will teach you everything. He will teach you everything. In the Bible, Jesus said, He will put you in remembrance. He will teach you everything. The Holy Ghost will teach you things. The Holy Ghost will tell you things. The Holy Ghost will open your eyes. The Holy Ghost will open the eyes of your understanding. And will give you revelation. We give you rema. 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 The Holy Ghost will give you rema. Come on. Do you know who you are and who you carry? So the word of God says, Greater is that person that is in you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Mm. We are going to take another strong prayer point. Mm. By the unction of the Holy Ghost. I release. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There are so many prayer points here. So we just pick few and we pray. And I prophesy. Thank you, Jesus. Now let us take this prayer point. It says, uh, it is written, you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. That is Acts chapter 1 verse 8. You shall receive power. You shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I resist every devil. Hey, yeah. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I resist every devil frustrating my testimonies in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare that by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, 
by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I resist every devil. I resist every demon. The Bible says, resist the devil and it will flee away from you. The Bible says, resist the devil. You can't, because of the power you have in you, resist the devil. Resist the devil. Hey, the hand of the, the hand of devil must be out from your marriage. The hand of devil must be out from your finance. The hand of the devil must be out from your life. The dwelling and the operation of the devil must be out from your family. Hey, I resist the devil. I resist the devil by the power of the Holy Ghost. I resist the devil frustrating my progress, frustrating my testimony. I, re I rebuke that devil. I rebuke that devil. I rebuke that devil. I rebuke that devil. Open your mouth and fire prayer now by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I resist every devil frustrating my testimony. I, I resist every demon, a jet of Lucifer frustrating my new song. Frustrating my new song. I resist. I resist. I resist. I resist. I resist. I resist now ever since the time of John the Baptist until now the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violent take it by force. I take my marriage by force. I take my blessings by force. I take my fruitfulness by force. I take my finances by force. I take my breakthrough by force. I take my change of story by force. I take my lifting by force. I take my promotion by force. By force. By force. I resist the enemies. I resist the adversary. I resist the devil. You cannot stand for greater. For greater is he that is in me that he that is in the world. Every power that opposes my progress, I crumble that power by the power of the Holy Ghost. I resist that power by the power of the Holy Ghost. I resist that move by the power of the Holy Ghost. Open your mouth and fire prayer. Take it by force. Makabo sakatade. Makali baro sekayonde. Mandele genebo suta. Yes, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, the principal channel to power. You cannot talk of power without the Holy Ghost. You cannot talk about the Holy Ghost without power attached to him because he's the principal channel to power. Yes, that power frustrating your new song, frustrating your rising, frustrating your change of story. I resist that power. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Makabo Sakata. Baribo Sukarondo. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Father. Hey, yeah. Let me tell you. The jailer, the jailer that jailed Paul and Silas and put them in prison. When he saw power, the Bible says the jailer knelt down. I was asking for conversion. Hey, yeah. Uh, somebody hear me. That enemy that will be fighting you, they shall see power. The, when the jailer saw power, when earthquake shook the prison to its foundation, the jailer submit himself. The jailer presented himself. The jailer was almost killing himself. Paul said, cool down. You have not seen anything yet. Hallelujah. 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 Paul said, go down. And it's the, when the jailer saw Paul and Silas, all that prisoner have run away. Paul and Silas were last there. The jailers knelt down and began to ask for mercy. The jailer began to ask for conversion. How, what must I do to be saved? That very night, conversion came to the house of the jailer. That very night, the jailer gave his life to Jesus when he saw power. The reason why your enemy is still running at that scatter. You have not stood your ground. You have not taken the battle to midnight because Paul and Silas waited till midnight. The power of midnight began to, to shake the foundation of the prison. And power began to be demonstrated. The jailer submitted himself. I prophesy on you. 
this year 2021 your enemy shall see power your enemies 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 shall see power I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Yes, this year, 2021, your enemies shall see power. Your enemies shall see power. Your enemies shall see power in the name of Jesus. Your enemies shall see power. Your enemies shall see power. Your enemy dare touch you by mistake. They will die by correction. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your enemy dare touch you. Touch your children, touch your marriage, touch your health by mistake. They will die by correction. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Mm. This year, 2021, I prophesy on you. There shall be power surge of the Holy Ghost that will make all your enemies to submit. They shall confess. That wicked fellow in the village, they shall confess. They shall confess. If I be confession, we start from tomorrow. Hallelujah. 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 If I the confession, we start from tomorrow. Not after this night of power. Not after this night of power. The confession will start from tomorrow. Somebody will just walk up to you and confess. And confess. I confess. I confess. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. You need power. Jesus told the apostles, He said, Wait in Jerusalem. Now, when the Holy Ghost come upon you, you shall receive power. Because they needed power for ministry. The reason why. There is no many, no, 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 no uh, conversion appear hard. It's because there's no power. Any church that show forth power, you don't preach much. There's, there's conversion. Because one miracle through the power of the Holy Ghost, what one, one miracle is greater than 100 sermons. You may preach 100 sermons. No, no conversion. But one miracle of power. When Lazarus came out from the grave, let us go there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> hey! Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let us go there and see what happened. When Lazarus came out from the grave, that was power. He come out. That was power. When Lazarus came out from the grave, he when Lazarus came out from the grave, come on, yeah. it was it was a power surge. It was a power surge. It was a power surge. Hmm. Look at it here. Look at it. Verse forty-five, John chapter eleven, beginning from verse forty-five. He says, "Many of the Jews say many." Bible use the word many. Many of the Jews, therefore, who have come with Mary and have seen what Jesus did, believed in him. Look at it here. Jesus did not preach that day. He only demonstrated power. There was conversion. Look at it here. They believed in him. Look at it here. They believed in him. They believed in him. Haya. Mm. They believed in him. When they saw power, raw power, I prophesy, your enemies in 2021, they shall see raw power. Power of the Holy Ghost. And they shall submit. They shall believe in your God. Look at it here. When they saw what happened, what is this? Lazarus came out. From the grave. How? Lazarus came out. The person that was buried after four days came out. Look at it. Verse, verse, verse 43 of John chapter 11. When he has said this, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. 
verse 44, the dead man came out. Look at it. The dead man came out. The dead man came out. The dead man came out. His hands and his feet bound with bandages and his face wrapped with a cloth. And Jesus said, unbind him and let him go. Lose him. And let him go. He came out. He came out. Jesus. Who is this Jesus? Hallelujah. Who is this Jesus? He had the fullness of the Holy Ghost. Jesus is the embodiment of power. Only one miracle. What happened? When the many people believe the greatest conversion that Jesus won for the kingdom came through the resurrection, through the um, rising of Lazarus from the dead. Look at it here. Many of the Jews now, therefore, they now believed. They believe. And here now, Jesus did not preach. He only just released one miracle. I prophesy in the name of Jesus. This year, 2021, there shall be a miracle in your life. There shall be a miracle. There shall be a miracle. Miracles orchestrated by the power of the Holy Ghost. Miracles born. Miracles Betted through the power of the Holy Ghost, I prophesy upon your life. There shall be miracles. There shall be miracles. There shall be miracles. There shall be miracles. Miracles orchestrated. Miracles born through the power of the Holy Ghost. Miracles born. There shall be miracles. There shall be miracles. There shall your enemy shall believe in your God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Abba Father. Lose him. And let him go. The people saw power. The people saw power. The people saw power. So see, if there is no power in your life, eh, your enemy will just your rubbish you. You need power. The church today need to activate that power. Power activation. You know when the power when 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 your SIM card when your account is dormant. Bank cards will say you need to activate it. When you buy a SIM card, the SIM card is dormant. You need to activate it. In the lives of many now, power is dormant. The dormancy of power. You need an activation. How do you activate power? Through the word of God. Through prayer. Through an encounter again. Through, the, through praying in tongues. Praying in the Holy Ghost. You, you activate this power. Power becomes active again. Power becomes more effective again. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Makababo Sataye. Hallelujah. Hey. Thank you, Jesus. When they saw power, Lazarus came out from the grave. What is this? What is this? The people. They know, see, they, Jesus did not preach. They just believe. Meanwhile, he has been preaching, though. They didn't believe him, oh. He has been preaching. He has been preaching, preaching, preaching. They didn't believe him. When they saw power, eh, Lazarus coming out from the grave, when they saw power, <laughs> It, and, and, and this day, Jesus did not preach. He only just came and said, Father, I thank you. I thank you because you always hear, you always, you have always heard me when I call on you. I'm doing this for the sake of those who don't believe that when they see power, they will believe that you, you sent me. When they see power, when they see power, when they see power, they will not believe that you sent me. Then he, then he, then he stretched forth his hand and spoke to Lazarus, the dead body of Lazarus. When they see power, your life shall carry power in 2021 in the name of Jesus. Your life shall carry power. Your life, Kababo, Glaki Barondo, your life shall carry power in 2021. I say, Your life shall carry power. Your life shall carry power. Your life shall carry power in the name of Jesus. When you speak as a child of God, it shall be established. It should be to be established. When you speak, when I when I came to this compound where I am now, this parish Saint Giovanni, there was a native doctor that was raining in this area. God, I can remember that time. I can remember that time. There was a very strong native doctor, strong in quotes. He was raining at that time. So this land that we are in, 
he was farming on this land. The native doctor was the one farming on this land. And this is the land that Archbishop gave to me. It, it was our land. The land belongs to us. Because the land was not used, the native doctor took over. Let me tell you, do you know that if you don't use certain things when you ought to use it, enemy will take over. This land that I am, I am now, that we have a, the church for God, it was taken over by the native doctors before we came here. So when I came here, there was a very big cherry tree that he, that he was worshipping. Oh God, hallelujah. There was a very big cherry tree. So when I came here, I asked, who is the owner of this cassava? They said, hmm, hmm. They look at me, a very young man. They said, hmm, hmm. You are asking who is the owner of this cassava? Hmm, hmm. They said, it's one man. And somebody whispered to me, Father, is the native doctor of this area. Father is the native doctor of this area. Please tread with caution. Eh? Tread with caution. I know who I am. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I have come to take possession of my land. I'm telling you now. They say, Father, tread with caution. No. This man is the native doctor of this area. Everybody here in this area, they submit to him. And he was farming on the land that I have come to take possession of. The man thought I, I, I was joking. The man thought I was joking. So I said, go and call him. And so this, they went to call him from his house. I said, sir, I give you 24 hours. Remove all these things. Now. The man looked at me. I remember this day very well. The native daughter looked at me. I said, remove all this, this now. I give you 24 hours. But you see, if you have made that kind of bold declaration, you cannot just go and sleep when I made that bold declaration. Overnight, I went into prayer. Makabo, magadi babo sata, rabakaribo, rigadone, legede, bakasate, rabasi arondo, mandere, rabo sate, bakasate, ligade, ligade. I prayed through the night. I prayed through the night. The following day, I saw the native doctor uprooting the cassava with anger, with bitterness. He was, he was uprooting. I didn't care. You got to uproot. Remove all these things because chance have been buried on this ground. Remove all these things. Then, after I removed everything, now look at the story. After I removed everything, then the big tree, it's a cherry tree. The people of this community, they serve the tree. If you go there, you see different pots around the tree. I said, I want to cut this tree. They said, ah, don't dare. Who, who are you? You you just came into this community. You want to cut which tree? When I saw the reaction, when I saw the reaction of the people. When I said I want to cut the tree, I just knew that this matter is not a physical matter. It's a spiritual one. So I did not talk about the tree again. I went into prayer every day. Makababo, ligado saka, mando kebo sutarende, ligabaronde, lagadoso, 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 baki daronde, baki daronde. We pray every day. So what happened to the tree? <laughs> Hallelujah! What happened to the tree? One Sunday, after, because I needed, I needed that spot, I needed that area where the tree was. So what happened to the tree? One Sunday, after mass, Makabo Shakade, we have had a very powerful. And my mass every Sunday is like crusade. So we have had the mass. After the mass, everybody gone home. Everybody gone home. I was inside. But something just said, go to the back on me. I went go to the go outside. So I went outside and I sat you know, on the veranda. The next thing, the next listen, the next thing, a mighty wind. That wind did not blow 
oh God, that wind did not blow in the community. That wind only blew within the church. A mighty, oh God, I remember that Sunday. A mighty wind. The wind did not blow everywhere. The wind only blew around the church. And the wind blew the tree. Oh God, the wind blew the tree. And the tree fell. Oh goodness. The whole community started running down to the place, to the scene where the, 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 the wind, the, the, the tree fell. The tree fell. The whole community ran. They saw that the tree has fallen. And all of them, you, we are now using Yama to say, Father has fallen the tree. Father fell this tree. Father has fallen the tree. That was the day they fear God. That was the day they gave me chance to operate. Native doctor behave himself. The native doctor became caged. As I'm talking to you, the native doctor is still there. But he has become small. Very small. And can I shock you? Can I shock you? Can I shock you? The very spot, the very spot where the cherry tree was is the place our chapel is now. We removed the power of the enemies and planted God there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We planted the our adoration ground there that is where we have our chapel for perpetual adoration that was the place the cherry tree they were worshiping was when they saw power the native doctor just opened look the native doctor became small you better respect yourself or your your children will miss you you better you better respect the native doctor just quietly behave himself no more quarrel no more shouting that is the meaning of the word of god through the demonstration of power your enemies shall submit the native daughter became small become was becoming smaller and small See, today the, nobody knows that he exists again in this community he was in charge before i came it's because there's no power here that's why the enemy is uh, the enemy is, uh, is 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 still talking because there's no power. That's why the enemy is shaking. The big cherry tree fell. The native doctor became small. Became small. Became small. One day, after morning mass, the children of the native doctor were going to school. Two of them. We torn uniform. Uniform torn. Oh! I say, look. Torn uniform. Uniform torn. Uniform torn everywhere. Uniform torn. The two children were going to school, primary school. I said, I said, come, little daughter, children, come. How are you? They said, fine, father. I said, why are you like this? They were looking at me. Why are your uniform torn? They were looking at me. I said, no. The Lord said, help them. Help them. I said, I just, I just took them. I took them to a tailor. I said, tailor, I please, I beg you. Give them a brown uniform, two, two. Yes, a pair, a pair, so that they can throw away this old one and they can wear this new uniform. The next two days, a brand new, a brand new uniform was ready. We have to take care of them. Hallelujah. That is power. That is power. When it, anytime I drive past that area now, the man still, the wife still says, Father. The native daughter's wife, Father, Father, God bless, Father, Father. Native daughter's wife. <laughs> hey! I gave the school uniform. Your father cannot afford it, despite all these idols. Look at your children. What a shame. Come, let my God take care of you. I took the two children to a tailor. I said, tailor, remove this thing from them and give them brand new. Brand new. Anytime we are doing something in the church now, the children come to my church. Anytime I'm doing anything, I see the children. They are grown now. They come to mass. They come to mass. They sit at the back. Sometimes they go to children's session. I see the children. I see the children. Anytime I do, anytime I do, uh, yes, okay, you remember the story. Rhoda, oh, you remember the story? 
Rhoda said, I remember the story. Yes. Anytime we are doing something in church now, the children are dead. We, we, we don't, we don't, we just want, you just have to convert and become, and become a child of God. Give the brand new uniform. Brand new, new uniform. They have all grown now. But my joy is that whenever we do something, any time, even on Sunday Mass, I do see the children here. But the native doctor is still hardened. It's a matter of time. It's a matter of time. But his influence in this whole area was gone. There was, an, there, was, there was a change of power. There was a change. I've come to demand what belongs to me. The property you are farming on is my own by rights because I've been transferred here. Remove your cassava because I was transferred to this place. No house, no church, no bank account, no nothing. That was how I came in here. That was how I came in here. You can see that. You can see how the story started. I have to remove cassava. I have to remove cassava. I have to demand a space because this was where I was transferred to. And then come and see what the Lord God has done here. Come and see what the Lord God has done. It is not my power. The power of the Holy Ghost. The power of God. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Let us take one prayer point more. Let us take one prayer point more before we call it a day. I will just prophesy on you. Yeah, we you see, you see, you need power. You hear me? You need power. This year, 2021, your life shall see power. Your life shall witness power. Your life shall exude power. There shall be power surge in every area of your life. If the enemy touch you by mistake, your enemy will die by correction. Thank you, Jesus. Let us take one prayer point more. Makabo Saturday. Ligabo Sukari Baronde. Say with me, my father, my father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Declare, my father, my father. My father, my father. As I pray, every work of the enemy, every work of the enemy who conspire against me shall suffer double destruction. Hey, every work of the enemy who conspires, who conspires shall suffer double destruction. For greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Greater, 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 greater. Greater is he that is in me than he that's in the world. Yet yeah, greater, yes, the work of the enemy that conspires against me shall suffer double destruction. Shall suffer double destruction. Shall suffer double destruction. I say shall suffer double destruction. Shall suffer double destruction. Shall suffer double destruction. Shall suffer double destruction. The work of the enemy that conspire, conspire against me, conspire against my house, shall suffer double destruction. Shall suffer double destruction. Shall suffer double destruction. Greater is he that is in me. Greater, 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 greater than is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Greater is he. Greater is he. Greater is he. Greater is he. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I say greater, 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 kababo, ligabo, sakadea. Greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. I take authority in the name of Jesus. I take authority by the power of the Holy Ghost. I overcome the world. I overcome my enemy by fire. I overcome my enemy by fire. I overcome in the name of Jesus. First John chapter 4 verse 4. You are of God, little children, and you have overcome them. For greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. I prophesy on you in the name of Jesus. This year, 2021, there shall be a power surge of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost power surge. Your life shall be hot. Your marriage shall be hot. Your business shall be hot. Your life shall be seasoned with fire. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is involved. Without the Holy Ghost, there is no power. The Holy Ghost is involved. Thank you, Jesus. Makabo Saturday. Liga Barondo. Rigadose. 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 Hey! Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Bakati Tarondo. Liga Babo Sakayede. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. If I was not 
strong in the spirit by the grace of God. What is this native doctor for use my eyes see now here? But when the, when the native doctor projected and discovered that, look, this man that came here, this man, this young man, you see, you respect yourself or he will disgrace you. The native doctor quietly respected himself. Now we no longer hear of him again. No longer. Before, eh? Yeah? He was in charge of this land. This ground, this, this church, where I am talking to you now, he was the one that was in charge. God will fight your battle. The Holy Spirit of God. The Holy Spirit of God. The Holy Spirit of God. The Holy Spirit of God shall break down all your conspirators. Shall divide their tongue. Shall divide their tongue. Shall divide their tongue. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Makabo Sakade. Ligado Sika. Ligado Sika. Ligado Sika. The Holy Ghost. The principal channel to power. If you are looking for, look, many people today when they are looking for power, they go and join secret courts. Just imagine. There, there's no power here. The power belongs to God. Once I have spoken, twice have I heard that power belongs to God. Hallelujah. That power belong to God. Many people today, when they are they, when they are looking for power, they will go and join secret courts. Yeah, they will go and join secret courts. So that is where you get power. That is power. You are joking. There is power already in you. The Holy Ghost. The day you get baptized, the power become resident in you. The power become resident in you. When you now did your confirmation, the Holy Ghost came with his fullness now. The fullness of the Holy Ghost was received. So it's already in you. All you need to do now is to activate the power. Every day pray in other tongues. Bakabo sutaye, ligabo saka, mande kerondo. Hey ya, this tongue that Father Alfred is praying now, you know it's a problem to many people. <laughs> Hey! It's a problem to many people. It's a problem. Wait, let me give you the story of how this tongue came about. How this tongue came about. Many times, many years ago, many years ago, when I was, you know, praying, then I was praying about a particular thing. And uh, I was praying. I was praying. I was praying. As I, whenever, as I'm praying, the tongue, the tongue will come. The atmosphere becomes charged. The tongue will come. But I will resist the tongue. I will resist the tongue. I will resist it because I don't know how I'm going to stand before you and pray in other tongues. Yeah, the Reverend Father is Makabo Sakade. They will say that is a Pentecostal. I was badly this day. As I go into my closet, I pray again. Hey, the tongue will come. I will hold the tongue. I will hold the tongue. Because the world will even criticize me. I will hold the tongue. I did that for almost, almost two years. So one day, I was praying. I was praying. The tongue came again. I resisted the tongue. Then my spirit was prompted. It was so clear to me. It was so clear to me that my, my spirit was prompted. And the Holy Ghost ministered to me and said, I have been giving you, I have been giving you utterances, my son. You have been resisting it. He said, This thing you are praying for will take you tongues to deliver it. This thing you have been praying for. Is the Holy Ghost said it will take just tongues. Makabo Sakade. We take tongues, tongues to deliver it. Kaya. When I heard it, my tongue let I what let loose. Rabadagade, ligabade, hey, come on. And the very thing I was praying for came cheaply. I said, hey, look at 
Oh goodness. Look at what is this? I'll be praying. I only pray the tongues now. I allow the Holy Ghost to pray through me. Masakatoya. When I came to church the following Sunday, Kabo Sika, Magabo today, hey as I lift up my voice in praise, the tongue came. The tongue came. Magabo Suka, Mande Legede Rabade. Only for him, only for me to even see that all the fear I was having, all the fear, nobody even there, all the fear I was, I was having, nobody even there. Then the Holy Ghost began to open my eyes. The Holy Ghost began to open my eyes that speaking in tongues even belongs to the Catholic Church. That speaking in tongues, speaking in tongues, it's not Pentecostal. It belongs to the Catholic Church. On the birthday of the church, when the Holy Ghost came on Pentecost, he came with speaking in tongues. Blessed Virgin Mary was there. All the apostles were there. When the Holy Ghost came, the birthday of the church, he came with speaking in tongues. Then the Holy Ghost began to teach me. Look at the birthday of the church. It came through tongues. A new birth of the church. It came through tongues. Why are you resisting the tongues? That's why things are no longer, these are not difficult for me. Because I pray in tongues. I pray in spirits. And the Holy Ghost pray through me. And things come cheaply. So I will encourage you. I will encourage you. I will encourage you. I will encourage, let the Holy Ghost pray through you. 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 Hallelujah. Let the Holy Ghost pray through you. Ever since then, my ministry changed. Everything about me changed. Makabo sutayede. Mangelebo sakaya. Baribo suke. Batalegede. Rabase. Ligabo sukalabade. Rabade. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Everything changed about my life. The day the Holy Ghost began to pray through me. The day the, the, there was from from the day I began to pray in other tongues, from one level of power to another, from one level of power to another, from one level of power to another, from one level of power to another. I tell you now. So don't don't resist the tongues. Don't resist the utterance. Let the Holy Ghost pray through you. Hallelujah. 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 Only for me to discover that. The Holy Ghost is the move of God. Is the move of God. If you want to move for God, you need the Holy Ghost. You need power. And the principal channel to power is the Holy Ghost. And how do you activate that power? Through speaking in tongues. Through praying in the spirits. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> It is well with you in the name of Jesus. Hey, uh, I prophesy upon your life. Testimony is yours. Breakthrough is yours. Cabo, la gabo, su cabayonde. Breakthrough is yours. Amazing turnaround is yours. Uh, there shall be a turnaround in your life by the power of the Holy Ghost. There shall be a turnaround in your marriage by the power of the Holy Ghost. There shall be a touch upon the, the touch of the supernatural. A touch of the supernatural. The touch of the supernatural upon that which you set your hand to do in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we give you thanks and praise. Holy Ghost, pray through me. I think you can take that as... I think you can take that as a prayer. Asking the Holy Ghost to pray through you. If the Holy Ghost prays through you, He will give you utterances. You don't, you don't resist the utterances. He will give you utterances. You will pray the Holy Ghost. And your spirit man will be charged up. Like you charge battery. Like you charge battery. I mean, you charge your phone. You charge your phone. You charge. That is what you, that is what the tongues does to your spirit, to your spirit, to your spirit man. That's what the tongues that you speak will do to your spiritual life. Your spiritual life becomes charged. You have to pray the Holy Ghost. Pray for 20 minutes. Pray for 30 minutes. And pray for one hour. 
one hour in tongues. Makabu, ligababu, sakade, legede, rabo, sita, mande, legede, rabade, eregede, bo, suta, mande, kebarone, legeda. Look, one hour, one hour. I'm still praying in tongues. My life changed. Doors became open. Things came cheaply. You don't understand what I'm saying. Things came cheap. Help us rush towards my direction. Help us. Help us. Help us came mightily towards my direction. Projects was accomplished. Great projects. Academy was born. Come on. To the power of the Holy Ghost. So always ask the Holy Ghost as you align yourself to the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit of God. I align myself with you. Help me. As you align yourself to the Holy Ghost, ask the Holy Ghost to pray through you. Pray through me. Pray through me, Holy Ghost. Pray through me. Kali Babo Sakade. Hey, let your power fall upon me afresh. Let your power fall. Let your power fall. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Makabo Sukalinde. Oh, Jesus, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Mm. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Mm. Somebody just asked somebody just, somebody just asked me online right now. He said, Father Fred, do you understand the tongues that you speak? <laughs> Let me read something to you. Let me read something to you from 1 Corinthians chapter 14. 1 Corinthians chapter 14. It says, beginning from verse 2. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, beginning from verse 2. It says, For one who speaks in a tongue, speak not to men, speak not to men, but to God. Oh, come on. Look at it here. For one, for one who speaks in a tongue, speaks not to men, but to God. And it says, For no one understands him. But he utter mysteries in the spirits. That is the tongue. Look at it here. When for one, for one who speaks in a tongue, speaks not to men. So when I speak in tongue, I'm not speaking to men. I'm speaking mysteries. I'm speaking mysteries. No one understands. Look at it here. Look at it. He speak, he speaks but to God. He speaks not to men, but to God. For no one understands him. But he utter mysteries in the spirits. In the, in the spirits. This passage is, is key to what I'm talking about. To what I'm talking about. No one understands. Even the, even the, even the utterance that you are giving, you don't even understand the utterance. What, the, what is the meaning of Maribo, Cabo, Saturday? Well, it's an utterance. It's an utterance. It's a mystery. You are speaking not to men. You are speaking to God. You are uttering mysteries. And as you utter mysteries, the mysterious things around you will begin to submit. Hallelujah. 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 Because you are uttering mysteries to the power of the Holy Ghost. You are uttering mysteries to the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Makabo Sakatabadi. Ay, 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 I think I'm calling the... I'm calling it a day today. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Makabo sata, ligabarondo, regedebo satayende, masatayo. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Spirit of God. Thank you, ancient of days. Hallelujah. Somebody, mm -hmm, let me quickly announce this one. No. Our sister, thank you, Jesus. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yes, our sister, Rusella de Gale, somebody from Trinidad and Tobago, somebody paid for you. 
and your name is already in the register of dwelling in the Lord's presence. Hallelujah. Our sister Rosella de Gill from Trinidad and Tobago, um, somebody paid for you. And also our sister um, Beatrice Umbogu, Umbogu from Cameroon, from Cameroon, uh, the same person also paid for you and your name is already in the register of dwelling in the presence. <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> I know our sister, Rosella, the gay from... Uh, if you are there, just indicate. I know you are going to be surprised. There's somebody I've already paid for you, you know, and your name is already in the register of dwelling in the presence. Our sister from Trinidad... Okay, our sister from Trinidad and uh, Tobago is 2000 Naira. So we have the name straight. So please, there are people in other parts of um, the world. It's not that they don't have money to pay, but they cannot send money to this place because of, okay, Beatrice. Beatrice is saying thank you. Beatrice, it is well with you. <laughs> our sister is our sister from Cameroon. She's saying thank you. Then Rosella from Trinidad and Tobago. You said you need a sponsor. You need a sponsor. Okay, yeah, God bless you. Rosella, it is well with you. Yes. So somebody has sponsored you and your um, your name is in the register for dwelling in the presence of God. Amen. So if you can sponsor any name, I'm going to, you know, name people that cannot pay. Yeah. <laughs> people that cannot pay. Not that they cannot pay with money, but because of their, because they are in another country, and our our the federal government policy is not helping matters to enable people to maybe transfer money, you know. But however, today I was able to receive the money sent through word remit. So if you if you know how to do word remit, I was able to receive. The, I went to the bank today, and I was able to receive what remit so if that will help but that has to be done through maybe two three many people together or whatever because i cannot just go to the bank now for what remit for your 2000 era because the problem of even assessing nigeria bank now is something else so um i will encourage if you want to sponsor just let me know there are people that needed that need to be sponsored their name with their, their name will enter the register. It's well with you. If you want to, your name has to be on that book because your name is what represents you. You know, um, before Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, that is what we do every year. That is what we do every year. We 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 we, we pay a token. We enter your name in the register. We put the register in the chapel. In your that your name is there. Then, whenever we celebrate mass, that two thousand naira you give will become a stipend, will become offering, and so on and so forth. So um, that's what we do. We have been doing that for more than ten years now, and I tell you, a lot of people have been a blessing. Ensure that your name is part of it, and God will bless you. Amen. God will bless you. Amen. I just I, I just explain it. It is called dwelling in his presence. Dwelling in his presence. So uh, that is the account details. Catholic intercessory prayer session. Zenith Bank. 10141. Blah 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 blah. That's right there. Or you can send a message to my WhatsApp and I will give you the account details. And don't forget too that this period as well. We also uh, we also take care of orphans. I want to appreciate all those who have given to the orphans. God will bless you. Yeah, God will bless you. God will bless you. Father Alfred, Lord, so dearly, don't forget that I am taking every one of you as my project. As my project. This 2021. Yes, it's my project. I'm praying for you. I'm 
praying for you and bringing your case before Jesus and bringing your case before God and by the grace of God and by the power of God I see all things working together for good I see all things working for your favor I see all things turning around for you I see God of compassion giving you restoration you are my project in 2021 and I hold you so strong before God and God will do for you what you cannot do for yourself thank you for staying with me today to pray I, I love you so much you have been a blessing to me and I really I really appreciate you now before we go press the share button now hallelujah oh yeah want to go let us pray the share button. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh yeah, let's oh yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Pray the share button. Yes. Pray the share. Antonia, pray the share button. Nehita, pray the share button. Jesse Arabame, pray the share button. Esther Uzebu, pray the share button. Odowa, pray the share button. Julia Ibide, pray the share button. Everybody, Helen. Erumusele, pray the chef button. Keep pressing, keep pressing, keep pressing, keep pressing. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. <laughs> hey! Let somebody have access to this video. And it can only be possible when you share. And as you share, you have become an evangelist of good news. Father, I feel lost with dearly. For tomorrow, which is the eighth day, Eighth day by the grace of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Makobo Sutarende. Holy Spirit, the channel to breakthrough. Holy Spirit, the channel to breakthrough. Another encounter again tomorrow. Holy Spirit, the channel to breakthrough. That is day eight. Holy Spirit, the channel to breakthrough. Hmm. Holy Spirit, the channel to break through. He's talking about how the Holy Ghost came. And the passage is Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2, 1 to 18. So write it down. Acts chapter 2, 1 to 18. Holy Spirit, the channel to break through. We have studied today Holy Spirit, the channel to power. Tomorrow is Holy Spirit, the channel to break through, to break through. So you are reading Acts chapter 2, 1 to 18. Acts chapter 2, 1 to 18. God bless you. Hallelujah. It is well with you. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, precious Father, we thank you for this seventh day that we have just concluded in prayer. We thank you for your favor we thank you for your blessings we thank you for all that you have been and for all that you will continue to be may your name be praised may your name be glorified let your grace and your mighty hand rest upon everyone who came online today and give them your test a testimony to tell and a new song in their mouth in the name of jesus amen hallelujah thank you jesus some people have been indicating that they need a sponsor a sister from ghana from somebody from Zimbabwe, they say they need sponsors. So if you can sponsor them, we'll reach out to them. I'll put their name in the register. And God will bless you. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night. Stay blessed. And rest well. Don't forget, Father Alfred loves you dearly. It is well with you. God bless you.